You know when you were a kid and you told your parents you really wanted that BMX bike for Christmas or that skateboard ramp, the plastic one that everyone wants because you think you're just gonna go hit that thing and do some sick jumps and some sick tricks like Tony Hawk, when at the end of the day, you know it's just gonna end up literally going nowhere. You're gonna hit the thing and you're gonna absolutely hurt yourself. Face plant, it's not a lie. You wanna hear a sick story? My mom bought me one when I was a kid. I was too scared to go off the damn jump, so she took it off the jump, face planted, and she was in crutches for quite a while, and that's a true freaking statement. Those things are dangerous. Nonetheless, those plastic ramps were pretty sick no matter how dangerous they were. For today's video, a crazy show build is the BMX bike or that skateboard ramp that you wanted as a kid and you are you, except now you want that crazy show build. I'm Lawson, Lawson.co on the gram, and in today's video, we are going to be going over what it takes or what it costs to build a unique build. Supposedly I have a pretty unique build. Just a big blob of purple and a couple parts on it, but nonetheless, here we are today. If you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, performance parts, or accessories, customozads.com. We got everything that you guys may possibly need for your truck. And if you have a build and are interested in repping the brand or being part of the Custom Offsets team, you can always apply to be in our ambassador program. It's actually pretty sick. Go take a look at that. Let's hop into the video. So sure, you can do wheels, tires, and suspension and call it a day, nothing wrong with that. There are a ton of guys and girls doing just that. And I mean, cruise around town, the truck still looks very nice and it's a clean, nice build. Today, we're gonna be going that extra mile. We're considering all the extra stuff that sends a build over the top. So let's just say you just picked up your truck from the dealership and you say to yourself, you know what? I'm gonna be hitting all the big truck shows this year. Not just a little pop-up meets. We're gonna be hitting Daytona. We're gonna be hitting Atlantic City. We're gonna be hitting Myrtle, SEMA if you're crazy. I want a build that is insane. I want people to break necks as I cruise by. Damn! Now all that is fantastic, but as I said, wheels, tire suspension do have to come first. So first off, you have to lift the dang thing. Lifting your truck is a very broad statement though. There are so many options to consider when it comes to lifting your truck. You can start off with a leveling kit. You can start off with a six to nine inch kit, whether it be a six inch BDS lift, Rough Country seven and a half inch Vertex coilover kit, seven to nine McGoys like your boy cranked up to nine inches because well, hey, every inch counts. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey funny guy, I got a joke for you. And you like to party. Then there are the straight axle guys that can literally do 12, 17, 30 inches of lift. I mean, the sky's really the limit with those guys. I'm kind of jealous, I want one. Or those crazy Plan B or Dude Lovejoy custom fabricated one-off suspension designs that you guys have been seeing in our Daytona videos. In freaking sane. I can only dream about it. No matter what kit you choose or what size you guys go with, that's where things start. Average price of a BDS kit is around $2,000 for a six inch kit. Now let's say you want to get spicy. That's what this video is all about. Let's say you want to ball out. Let's say you want this BDS kit to look like no other BDS kit and you want people to turn their heads as you cruise by. So before you install anything, you get your kit powder. But let's say you are like me and you also want to get your wheels done. Well, now you got a freaking wake, so you got to match everything. So you don't have wheels yet. So you go on out and you take a couple minutes to browse wheels for your year make model on customoffsets.com, whether you're using the gallery or just the overall store. Boom, you find the perfect set of 2414s. Let's say TISs. You can get a set of TIS 544s for about 2400 bucks at that 24 to 14 range. Boom, you got your suspension. You got your freaking wheels. Now it's time to go off to powder coat. But first, before you can go to powder coat, you need a freaking powder coat color. You know how long I searched for a color? First off, I painted. That's a whole nother video. If you guys want to find out about that, you can check out my build series. But let's say that you're picking out your powder coat color. You can go on out to Precision or wherever you may go. Go out online and get some little stitches that come in with your powder coat colors. You may have seen Biggs do it. I know Junior did it. They have different versions and variations of every single color, whether it be blue, red, orange, green, purple, freaking all sorts of colors combined. You got to do that. Get that shipped out to yourself. Don't just tell your powder coat guy that you want orange and just have him go to town. Speaking of orange, you know, powder coat, big recipe, sorry. But it is what it is. Make sure you guys are picking fantastic uh, guys that can powder coat your suspension so that way you don't have to redo things and things get even more crazy. I'm just playing bigs. You know I love you and I know you're going to get your stuff figured out. It's all good at the end of the day. 
Let's say it comes back looking so damn good once you guys do get your parts powdered. You pay $1,000, $1,500, $2,000, it all depends where you guys are gonna go to get your powder done, but make sure you're picking out a good shop that can also do all of your components, take things apart, and everything comes back looking amazing. Well now, next up, your freshly powdered wheels need some nice meaty boys wrapped around them, so that way you guys can slap your wheel and tire package onto your lifted truck, so you need tires. Average set of 35 inch tires will run you anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500, depending on what brand, width, and all that sort of thing. So now you have a truck with a lift kit, nice wheels and tires, powder coated suspension, and things are starting to look spicy and look nice. So now you're done, right? That's it. Wheels, tires, suspension, baby, that's all we promote. Wrong. The point of this video is unique builds. It's time to take it another step. Another one. As truck enthusiasts, we continue to push ourselves and our builds. That's the whole purpose of this video. How can you push your build to the next level and what is it going to take? I mean, I get messages all the time from you guys saying, what do you think about color matching my bumper? What do you think about adding some train horns? What do you think about powder coating this? What do you think about adding some stereo and some interior stuff? Also facts, I really want to get a banging sound system. How crazy would that be? Well, for starters, it's gonna take some money and it's going to take some time, like a lot of time. Sure, there's a lot of people out here doing crazy SEMA crunches, crazy show crunches throughout the year, but at the end of the day, you guys have to be okay with it taking some time. I mean, come on, if you're just the average Joe who's working his construction job, business job, whatever job you may be working, you also have to survive, dedicate money to bills, you know, have time in between your family and your hobbies and everything else that's going on. You have to be okay with that. I remember building this truck or even like my last vehicle that I built, wanting to do so much right off the rip and you do not have to do that. Just take your time, do it right, and eventually everything comes together. What do you want? A lot of times people try to complete a crazy build in a short amount of time. And sure, in some instances it is possible, but most likely, not just like banker he's talking right now uh, you know i saw him throw the k350 together in uh, about two three weeks it's doable but not ideal all right so what's next well there's all sorts of accessories that you could start to add to your build let's say you're dustin and as soon as you finish your build and you think you are good to go things start to not cooperate you guys are going to see all that on his build series coming up but things just start to not work and you have to replace them Heck, even sometimes while building your truck, you can run into some issues depending on angles, shape of the vehicle as far as crusty components go, and much, much more. I mean, you guys saw Junior's Black Bronco rip, RIP. It's important to take the time to upgrade your supporting mods, especially while you are in the middle of building your truck. Maybe a set of rods for 300, 400 bucks, maybe some upper control arms for 500 bucks to help out with angles so you can comfortably drive this thing without putting too much stress and wear and tear on it. I mean, without my McGoy's upper control arms, my angles being beautiful, my drive to Daytona and back won't have been fun. Maybe some lifetime warranty wheel bearings from Kryptonite so you can slap a big wheel and tire setup on your truck and ball for the gram. I got a set right before Daytona, they're beautiful. 300 bucks. And did I mention lifetime warranty? I mean, come on, think about it. I love mine and I just drove to Florida and back to Wisconsin, no problem. These are all things that not only will elevate your build, but also help with drivability. I mean, come on. Sure, you can build big, huge trucks, but you can also make those big, huge trucks drive just fine. Now it's time to get crazy. It's time to take a step back from your build and look at some things that you could do to make it yours, to make it your own build. I know some guys who will get custom grills and put their names or brand on it. I know I need one. Okay, relax, I'm working on it. Just chill. Or do what I do, just wrap the whole damn thing. I mean, you want to stand out, right? I was just at Daytona Beach truck meet and there were a ton of sick. I mean, sick, sick builds, but one thing that I noticed that was a ton and ton of white and black trucks. It just is what it is. Don't get me wrong, they all looked freaking better than my truck. I mean, they looked amazing. But if we're talking about unique, take wrapping your truck into consideration. You won't regret it. There are also an insane amount of accessories you could do from bumpers to headlights to taillights to rock lights to audio setups to even personal touches that are unique to yourself and your build. I just had a buddy do some custom seating work where he had his brand or name stitched right on the headrest of his seats 
inside the cap. I got a, come on, who does that? Imagine Lawson.co on the grill, Lawson.co on the freaking headrest, or custom offsets on the grill, custom offsets on the headrest. Come on, man, make her unique. Speaking of inside the cab, do a starlight headliner. It's only like 200 plus holes that you have to drill out and put lights through, but I mean, that's big. It's pretty cool, stands out. Or Danny from Alfrex, he's got like the shooting freaking stars. I think it's insane. And if you do it yourself, it doesn't cost a ton of money. It's just very time consuming, kind of sucks. At the end of the day, we are enthusiasts who love trucks, who just want to continue to make them unique and cool and stand out. We get asked all the time, what should I do next? There are so many options when it comes to doing more to make your truck unique. I mean, at the end of the day, there's not one thing that I couldn't point out on CO2 or the K350. I sure as hell could point out a ton of my truck because you guys point out all the freaking time. Thank you, because it gives me ideas all the time. But mix up wheel and tire setups or do different things. There's always so much that you guys can do to mix up the look of your truck. That's what I've got for you guys on today's video. If you guys are looking to add to your truck, make it unique, we have a ton of options on our website, customoffsets.com. Also, let me know down in the comment section below what mod you are looking to do next to your truck. I wanna see what you guys have in store for your trucks. We'll see you guys on the next one.